Okay, so let's start. Get your notebook, pen, and module. So we will discuss quarter one, module one, factoring polynomials. So this is one of the most essential learning competencies or milk in mathematics. So at the end of this module, the learner will be able to factor completely different types of polynomials. Polynomials with common monomial factors, difference of two squares, sum or difference of two cubes, perfect square trinomials, and general trinomials. So you learn how to factor out prime and composite numbers in the first activity. Now, you will learn how to factor out variables. So you will also learn how to factor out polynomials by getting their greatest common factor or by using special products. Let's define factoring. Factoring is the process of getting the polynomial factors of a given number or expression. Also, factoring is the reverse process of getting the product. So to factor means to express the algebraic expression as the product of two or more expressions. So undoing the distributive property is one of the main process of factoring. So this process is also called taking out or factor out. So in our example, we factored out 7 from 7x plus 7y since it is the common factor in the terms of the given expression. So factoring polynomials is a process of writing a polynomial as a product of two or more other polynomial. So if the polynomial cannot be written as the product of the other polynomials, so it is said to be a prime except one and negative one. So in this case, a polynomial is said to be factored completely. So to factor an algebraic expression, First, we factor out the greatest common monomial factor of all terms of the given expression. Then divide each term of the expression by the greatest common factor or GCF. The resulting expression is the other factor of the given expression. So let's have these examples. Factor the following. Number 1. So 3x plus 6. First, identify natin si greatest common factor ng each term. So, 3x and 6, greatest common factor nila is 3. Now, let's factor out 3. And then divide each term by 3. So, 3x divided by 3, so that is x. Then, positive 6 divided by 3, so positive 2. So, our factor now is 3 times the quantity x plus 2. Let's have number 2, 7x minus 21y. So, identify ulit natin si greatest common factor. So, GCF is equal to so 7. So, let's factor out 7. And then, divide each term by 7 to find the other factor. So, 7x divided by 7. So, that is x. Negative 21y divided by 7 is negative 3y. So our factor now is 7 times the quantity x minus 3y. Number 3, 10y plus 25y squared. So again, identify first the greatest common factor. So in here, the variable, pareha sila. So, para mas madaling malaman yung greatest common factor, kunin yung may pinakamalit na exponent. So, in y and y squared, ang greatest common factor natin dito ay si y. So, GCF now will be, so in 10 and 25, the greatest common factor is 5. y and y squared, so that is y. So, factor out 5y. And to find the other factor, let's divide each term to 5y. So 10y divided by 5y is equal to 2. 25y squared divided by 5y is equal to positive 5y. So our factor now is 5y times the quantity 2 plus 5y. Number 4. 
So, 20a squared minus 36a cubed. So, again, find the greatest common factor or GCF. So, in 20 and 36, so the greatest common factor is 4. a squared and a cubed. So, may pinakamalit na exponent ay si a, a squared. So, sa variable natin, o literal coefficient, is a squared. So, let's factor out 4a squared. And to find the other factor, let's divide 4a squared to each term. So, 20a squared divided by 4a squared, so that is 5, minus, so 36a cubed divided by 4a squared, so that is 9a. So, our factor now is 4a squared times the quantity 5 minus a. Whole number 5, 22m raised to 7 plus 33m raised to 5 minus 11m squared. So, first, identify the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is 11 and m squared. Since ang may pinakamalit na exponent ay si m squared. So, let's factor out 11 m squared. And to find the other factor, divide 11 m squared in each term. So, 22 m raised to 7 divided by 11 m squared. So, that is 2 m raised to 5 so positive 33 m raised to 5 divided by 11 m squared so that is positive 3 m cubed negative 11 m squared divided by 11 m squared so that is minus 1 so our factor now is 11 m squared times the quantity 2m raised to 5 plus 3m cubed minus 1. So, kung gusto nyo i-check kung tama yung sagot nyo, just multiply, okay, using distributive property. So, let's check. So, 11m squared times 2m raised to 5, so that is 22m raised to 7. 11m squared times 3m cubed, so that is positive 33 m raised to 5, 11m squared times negative 1, so that is minus 11m squared. So notice, they are the same. So it means your answer is correct. Okay, let's have factoring by grouping. Polynomials may not have the terms with a common monomial factor, but when the terms are grouped, a common monomial factor may appear in each group. So how are we going to factor by grouping? So, the first step is group the terms in the parentheses as a sum. Step number two is to factor out the greatest common factor or GCF in each group. Step number three, factor out the common binomial. And last, continue factoring if possible. Okay, so let's have these examples. So, factoring the polynomial. So, we will factor this using factoring by grouping. Okay. So, let's answer number 1. MP plus MQ plus NP plus NQ. So, the first step is group the terms in the parentheses as sum. So, let's group. And then, factor out the greatest common factor in each group. So, in MP plus MQ, the greatest common factor or the common factor is M. Factor out M and then divide m in each term. So, mp divided by m, so that is p plus mq divided by m, so that is q plus so common factor in np and nq, so that is n. So, let's factor out n and then divide n in each term. So, np divided by n, so that is p plus nq divided by n, so, that is Q. Now, factor out the common binomial. 
And the common binomial is P plus Q. And to find the other factor, divide P plus Q in each term. So M times the quantity M plus Q divided by P plus Q is equal to M plus N times the quantity P plus Q divided by P plus Q is equal to N. So our factor now is P plus Q times the quantity M plus N. So to check if your answer is correct, so you multiply the two binomials using the FOIL method. And if you got the same answer, so it means your answer is correct. Okay, second example. 3a squared plus 6ab plus 5a plus 10p. So first thing you will do is to group and then find the greatest common factor in each group. So in 3a squared plus 6ab, so the greatest common factor is 3a. So to find the other factor, divide 3a in each term. So 3a squared divided by 3a, so that is a, plus 6ab divided by 3a, so that is 2b, plus, so 5a plus 10b, so the greatest common factor, or the common factor is 5. So to find the other factor, divide 5 in each term. So 5a divided by 5, so that is a. Positive 10b divided by 5 is positive 2b. Now, factor out the common binomial. So that is a plus 2b. Times, so divide 3a times a plus 2b divided by a plus 2b. So that is 3a plus, so divide 5 times a plus 2b divided by a plus 2b, so that is 5. So our factor now is a plus 2b times the quantity 3a plus 5. Let's have the third one, factoring difference of two squares. An expression is a difference of two squares if the first and the second terms are perfect squares subtracted from each other. So let's have a recall. So x plus y and x minus y. By multiplying the two binomials, the product is x squared minus y squared. So this is the result called the difference of two squares. So notice that the factors of the difference between two squares are the sum and difference of their square roots. So the factors of a squared minus b squared are a plus b and a minus b. So let's have an example. So let's answer now number 1, x squared minus 49. So x squared is a perfect square and 49 is also a perfect square. And then the operation is subtraction. So it means we can factor this using difference of two squares. So first is get the square root of the first term. So the square root of x squared is equal to x and the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So, the factor now of x squared minus 49 is x plus 7 times x minus 7. Number 2, a squared minus 25. So, let's factor this using difference of two squares. So, let's get the square root of the first term. And then the square root of the last term or the second term. So the first term is a and the square root of 25 is 5. So the factor now of a squared minus 25 is a plus 5 times a minus 5. Number 3. 361 minus y squared. Okay, so let's have number 3. 36 minus y squared. So again, find the square root of the first term and the square root of the second term. 
So the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of y squared is y. So our factor now is 6 plus y times 6 minus y. <music>